someone has asked me to explain the thread path on a handheld stitcher such as this vintage sun. Um, now, the newer ones that are um, fairly inexpensive on eBay may be um, a little bit different, but generally most of them do this. But this is the sun handheld stitcher. Now, um, some of them have a screw, a thumb screw that holds the bobbin on, and some of them have a little cap that holds the bobbin on a post. Now, this post is for a spool of thread, and I'm going to change the thread, and I'll show you um, all of that. So, because this one has a thumb screw, you unscrew that little nut, take the bobbin off, And what the post does, if you have this part of it, is give you an extender that will hold a larger spool of thread. There should be threads inside there. And this screws on there instead of the thumb screw. And you don't want to lose any of your little parts. So there's your um, post that can hold its spool of thread. You want the thread to lead from the back. And I believe um, they, the ones that have the post will also have a peg, a cap um, that can go on the extender post so that your thread doesn't fall off. I find it's best to use a spool of thread that is the length of whatever post you have. But they will work like this. So what you then do, and I'm doing this in bright orange, and I'll show you the path uh, close up in a minute. Or maybe I can do it now. Um, there's a thread guide right above the spool of thread. You put the thread through there. And again, it's leaning off the back. Then there are two tension discs right here. And this is your tension adjustment. And the thread goes in between those two discs. And you want to hold the thread still so you get it right through those two discs. Then the tricky part is you go underneath and there's another thread guide under here. And usually um, thread ends can pick up static or they just bend the wrong way. But there you go. You pull that through like that. So there is your thread path to this point. You come off of the spool of thread through the thread guide in between the two tension discs and then through that thread guide under there. And then you want to come from the back of the needle to the front of the needle. It helps uh, to use a needle threader. Just put that through like that. Take your thread. <laughs> put it through the hole, the eye of the needle threader.
and you have your thread going from the back to the front. And then this is two layers of muslin. And you want to um, you want to keep this long tail from doing what it did right there and getting wrapped around the um, edge. So I want to pull this through this way. Whoops. And so that allows you to use um, a full-size spool of thread instead of a bobbin. Now with the bobbin, um, you saw that you would just have the bobbin on there and then the thumb screw to hold that in place. So there is the threading path of the Vintage Sun Handheld Stitcher.